The spoon fishing is the most common lure fishing technique there is. And it seems pretty simple. You basically have to cast and retrieve. Um, but there's actually several little techniques that you need to know if you want to catch fish with a spoon successfully. So the very first thing to really remember when you're casting a spoon is uh, how to cast properly. Um, so unlike fishing with a big weight, when you tend to have to bring the uh, rod all the way back behind you and make a really big cast so you can get that big weight out uh, as far as you can. When you're casting a spoon, you just have to bring the rod back a little bit and make a quick snap and out goes the spoon. So by casting this way, uh, you, it's very fast and uh, it's very precise. You make sure that your, uh, your spoon land exactly where you want it to be. So another thing to remember when you're casting is to look exactly when you want to cast. Uh, if you look, if you're looking straight at it, uh, most likely the lure will land exactly at where you're looking. The next thing to remember is to let that spoon sink gradually to the depth where the fish are. Um, because if, if you start retrieving right away, um, chances are you're not going to get a bite if the fish can't see it. If you're fishing at a new location, chances are you probably don't know how deep the water is. So this is where the experimenting comes in. Um, so for example, if you're doing the first cast, you might want to let it sink for 5 seconds. On the second cast, let it sink for 10 seconds. Um, eventually, you'll find the bottom and find where the fish is sitting. Once your spoon reaches the depth where you want it to be, that's when you start retrieving. The retreat speed should not be too fast. If it's too fast, then the fish wouldn't be able to see it and chase it down. So you could just kind of have to experiment a little bit again uh, to kind of change your speed uh, on every cast. So just remember, if you're reeling too fast, that lure is going to come up to the surface and stay on the surface. But if it's too slow, you're going to be too close to the bottom and occasionally you'll snag up on the branch or rock. Another thing that I like to do when I'm retrieving a spoon is to lower that rod tip. So by having, by having that uh, rod tip lowered towards the water, they tend to give a spoon a natural swimming motion and also help with the hook set as well so if you have the rod tip really high up there's really no room for a hook set whereas if you have the rod tip really low down when you get a bite you have plenty of room for that finally give the rod a twitch once in a while so by doing that the spoon looks like a struggling bait fish so for more information on fishing in British Columbia, please check out our website at www.fishingwithrod.com and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make a comment if you have another question or any other ideas on topics that you want us to do.